I look busted. Oh man. So, what's up everybody? Today is Sunday, February 17th. 17th. Let me check. My phone. 17th. Boom. Um I go back to work this Tuesday. Um, I go back to work on Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. It's President's Day and government's off. So um, me and um, Devontae were both off tomorrow as well. So we've been spending all the times with baby boy before he has to go off to daycare and stuff like that. Um, so in this video, it'll kind of be like a routine um being that now he's 12 weeks old and we kind of got a little pattern going um right now he's resting um he's taking his mid-morning nap he woke up about right at about seven o'clock this morning um he's a he's an early bird baby he likes to wake up early um so he woke up at like seven i was still a little bit tired so i gave him to Devonte, and the Devonte took him downstairs changed his diaper all that fun stuff fed him and he ended up putting him back to sleep now Devonte's at the gym we're chilling at the house i got some stuff i gotta do while he's still sleeping and i'm just gonna show you guys what i kind of do in my day-to-day -day life while having a new baby so right now he's sleeping in his little pack and play. Doesn't he look so cute? So he just started sleeping on his stomach, which I love. Oh my gosh, I love it so much because he actually, you know, like can pick his head up now and knows how to move around a lot more, a lot better now, so. Um, so for starters, what I'm going to do is, I had a load of clothes in the dryer. I'm going to turn it on one more cycle, and I'm going to get that folded. Also got a load of clothes in the washing machine. I'm trying to get everything nice and cleaned up. Before I leave, because now that I'm not gonna be on maternity leave anymore, nobody's gonna be here all day to clean the house. So, in the mornings, uh oh, in the mornings while he's sleeping, I usually just get some cleaning done while I can. This morning, I'm going to cook what we're gonna have for lunch and stuff. So, Pull my hair back because I don't want no hair in my food and stuff. I prepped the fish that I'm going to cook. And now I'm just going to go in with some seasoning. Nope. I grabbed the wrong thing. Y'all, mommy brain is so real. So, as far as... Hold on. Okay, as far as me being ready to go back and work and stuff, um, I kind of feel a little iffy about it all. Um, one being, I don't want to go to work because I don't really like, it's not that I don't like my job, I just don't like, I don't necessarily like this command or the people that I work with so to say so going back to work is not exciting for me whatsoever um in addition to that i don't want to leave my baby with somebody else like i would love to just be able to stay at home and watch my baby and you know be a stay-at-home mom and stuff like that so i can get the full-time experience with him and watch him grow and meet his milestones literally every second of every day but that's not ideal that's not my life so i'm not even gonna dwell on that um i also so the yes part of me going back to work um 
tired of just being in the house. Like, at least me going to work gives me something to do on an everyday basis. I didn't necessarily, it's not much to do at home with a three month old besides play with him, feed him, change him, try to teach him some stuff. Um, it's not really much I can do. So, and then it's like, it's only so much cleaning of this house you can do. It's only so much going to the mall. It's only so much, it's like you can't do that stuff every single day. So I needed something a little extra to do and work is going to be that outlet so what i'm doing right now i'm just coating this pan with a little bit of um oil i didn't pour enough with a little bit of oil so i can cook the salmon 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 i don't understand the point of why people say it differently i feel like you should enunciate the l some people feel differently. I don't really care, to be honest. But I'm gonna do salmon, salmon. I'm gonna wait for that to get a little warm. While I'm waiting for that to get warm, um, yeah, I already got the rice. Devontae will make his own vegetables because I don't want to make a vegetable that he doesn't like or whatever the case may be. Once I finish this cooking, then I'll wash the dishes. After I wash the dishes, hopefully those clothes that I put another cycle on in the dryer will be dry. I'm going to fold that. And then... Yeah, hopefully those clothes in the dryer will be dry so I can fold those. And then I'll pretty much, Gabe should be up by then. So I'll be with him. And then hopefully Devontae gets back home from the gym roughly about um, like 11 or something. So I can go to the gym since they close early. Well, they always close early on Sundays, but they've been closing early yesterday, today, and tomorrow for the holidays. So I gotta get in while I get in, you know? get a little bit brown on the first side I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about my fitness goals and things like that um, I can't remember the last time I spoke necessarily about my fitness goals but for those of you who don't know um, I started working out about I'm on week four of my workout and I'm on week three of my diet yeah yeah i'm on week three of my diet and i'm on week four of me working out i started at 147 and my goal is 120 by july so that's give or take roughly about four to five pounds a month that i gotta lose and i started the second to last week of january and it is now the second week of february or going on the third week of february um, so far, I have lost four pounds. Well, I take that back. I lost five pounds because um, I just weighed myself yesterday. So I currently weigh 142. I'm going to weigh myself again um, next week because my coach, aka my husband, um, he told me that since I had that girl's day and like, we kind of picked out a little bit that day that um, to see how bad of a damage I did, I need to give it an extra week or something like that so I'm gonna weigh myself again um, to see where I'm at because I've been trying to weigh myself every two weeks 
And so the first two weeks I lost four pounds. Then I had that girls day and then I worked out. Um, well, I worked out for a week. We had the girls day. And then I worked out the next week and I only lost a pound difference. So we're gonna weigh, I'm gonna weigh myself again this upcoming week um, to see how bad of a damage that girls day did. Um, Cause I didn't follow no diet plan that day. It was literally me and my girl Jess. We went out, we had a mommy's day out. We went to the mall, we got pedicures, we ate. We had Great America's cookies over at the mall. Then we went to, where we go? We went to Red Robin. We went to Red Robin and had a couple drinks at the bar. Ate, talked some more. We literally just had a mommy's day out where the dads had the kids and the moms had nothing. We had no care in the world, no certain time we need to be back home. I want to say we left roughly about 12 o'clock that day. Didn't get back till about 8, almost 9. You need it. For all you new moms, if you got other friends that are moms, y'all get together, y'all go out, y'all have y'all a girls day, cause it's, it's needed, especially when you've been cooped up in the house for a long X amount of time. Like honestly, you need it. You need it, you need it, you need it. So now, um, the first side of the salmon has gotten a little brown, so I just flipped it. And then I'm going to wait a little bit for the next side to be brown. Um, and yeah, while I'm waiting, I'm kind of just tidying up, cleaning up my kitchen a little bit. Because with a new baby, I swear, it's like we have bottles for days. And I feel like all these damn baby bottles is what's making the kitchen look so cluttered and junky and stuff like that. Like... I can't deal, but it's literally all his bottles and that little um, grass drying rack looking thing from Target. It's just ridiculous. Um, for those of you who've asked me on my Instagram um, how breastfeeding has been going, um, breastfeeding has been going good after I started supplementing with formula. Um, and I started supplementing not because he was having a weight gain issue, just for the simple, um, like, my mind. Um, it was just to ease my mind because, y'all, if you've ever breastfed or if you're trying to breastfeed, like, it's hard. Like, people don't tell you that it's hard, but it's a lot of work to breastfeed, like, because it's so demanding, especially in the beginning of your breastfeeding before your milk comes in and you're only feeding them colostrum. And I, if I'm saying that right, colostrum. Um, so it's really hard because just, they're, cause their stomachs are only so big. So they take probably about this much of milk from you and then they're good for like an hour and they want this much milk again and it's just like oh why can't you just eat enough that'll be good for you for like an hour like a couple hours or so but they eat every they eat every so often i also started supplementing formula especially now because he's about to go to daycare and it's just a paranoid first mom and me and i just i don't trust nobody with my breast milk because so you're allowed to leave breast milk out at room temperature for X amount of hours and I don't really like to do that. Well, I'll do it, but I don't like to do it to a certain extent. Like some people, like if you give a baby a bottle and they don't finish it, they'll leave it out until they finish it. And I don't really like that. I feel like if I give him a bottle and he doesn't finish it, I give him maybe like an hour to come back and finish the rest of it. If you don't finish it in an hour, I'm getting rid of it because I don't like keeping it out like that and this daycare lady like she's gonna have other kids I don't want her forgetting about it or forgetting how long she's had it sitting out and then try to give it to him again even though it might not be bad I just I don't like it so 
I don't do it. So when I do breastfeed, he gets my milk um, exclusively from my nipple. I used to pump. I don't like the pump anymore. I'm pretty sure I told you guys all of this. I can't remember what I said, but yeah. Um, I want to say he got his three month shots and this boy has been growing ever since. Um, last time we went to the doctor, he was about 10, almost 11 pounds. I want to say he's like 13 or 14 pounds now. Like, dude is heavy. Like, when I come from the gym from working out and I come and pick him up, it feels like I'm getting another workout with some 15 pound dumbbells. Like, I'm like, dude, my arms are tired. I'm not with it. This shit is. You heavy. He is heavy. He's so cute. So sweet, baby. Such a sweet baby. Um, he looks like his dad, but he definitely has my attitude and my ways of just my ways. Like he just he acts like me, but he looks like Devante. For those of you who say he looks like me, thanks for the compliment. But I know who this boy look like in the name. Okay, so I, what was the last thing y'all saw me do? Oh yeah, y'all saw me fold the clothes. So I folded the clothes, I put Devontae's clothes upstairs in his closet. I put my clothes away in my closet. And then I came back downstairs, I moved the load of clothes that I started with you guys into the dryer and then I started a load of towels. So that's what's going on right now. I tidied up the living room a little bit and um i'm pretty much done i want a vacuum but gabe is sleeping right now and ace doesn't like the vacuum cleaner so in a combination of the loud noise from the vacuum cleaner and my dog barking that's a no-go so i'm not gonna vacuum um i'll probably ask Devonte to vacuum when he get back home along with putting his clothes away that's over there on the chair um yeah so once he puts that away i'm gonna ask him to vacuum i've already washed all the dishes i cleaned the kitchen i cooked um and gabe is still asleep like not the fuck out i know you can barely see his face because of the way that the camera's angled over there but he sleep. I went over there. He's still breathing, so we good. Well, I'm telling y'all, when your baby starts to sleep on their stomach, oh, it's like a freaking game changer, y'all. Like, shit's amazing. So, now I'm just going to sit back, relax, and I'm probably going to edit this portion of what I've recorded so far until Devontae gets home. Then I'm going to get dressed for the gym. And then we're kind of going to do like a high five out the door. And then I'm going to go to the gym. And I think we're going to do something today. So I might bring you guys with us while we go do that stuff, I think. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to get my hair done. Um when i got my hair cut i got the most blunt cut as possible and yes i asked her to do this but now i'm regretting it 
because when it comes to doing a style since it's so blunt and it's not layered and angled um like if i twist it or something the ends are so blunt that i can't really twist it within itself so it can hold itself it's just a blunt end so it'll start to unravel so when i go and get my hair done hopefully tomorrow um i'm gonna get layers so we'll see how layers are on this short hair um and for you guys' record i cut my hair and it was chin length right it's now touching my shoulder and it's only been a month so the short hair i mean it's still short but the fact that it was at my chin and now it's at my shoulder like it was short-lived like it's only been a month so i can only imagine what's gonna happen next month and then a month after that and hell by the summertime shit i might damn near well be back to where i was um another one of my uh, another one of you guys you guys asked me did i plan on coloring my hair again no i don't honestly this brown is low maintenance and I don't have to do anything to it and I kind of look a little bit more mature now that I got a kid um so I might not dye it again um but my hair is doing the thing that it does the most um or it does best not the most well it does it a lot but it does best it is turning uh oh Gabe made a noise This dude is farting in his sleep. Oh, he stopped moving. He literally just turned his head. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The ends of my hair are doing what they do best. And they're freaking, the ends are turning a lighter brown than everything else. So it looks like some ombre shit that went wrong and I didn't do anything actually. It's literally doing it on its own. I hate when it does it, but I mean, it's doing it. It's just the way my hair is naturally, so. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna record this little portion and then I'll pick you guys back up once I leave the house.